I am the clinical dietitian here at McDowell Hospital and so kind of what that entails is um, I see inpatients daily so uh, if a person screened for possible malnutrition then I go upstairs and talk to them kind of about their weight and about their eating habits and that kind of thing. I get to do education um, with the patients if they have different chronic diseases and I love to put my plug in for like whole foods like focus on your whole food diet. I um, also do some outpatient education, not a lot, um, and then we have a couple classes that we help teach. And now I'm kind of starting to get a little more involved with the kitchen, helping kind of with patient services, so I get to help with kind of meal design, meal prep uh, for the patients upstairs. We have a diabetes class that we help with, and then we have a cardiac rehab class that we're helping with as well. So it really grew my knowledge of local food and then the laws that are surround procurement and that kind of thing. Um, and so now I use that now when I'm working with either our chef or whoever's purchasing, kind of like how, what we can get local, where we can get it from and that kind of thing. Um, and it actually helps me in my graduate school classes. Like I just used some of that knowledge last night. Some of the girls are doing a farm to preschool program. And I was like sharing some of the knowledge on like the laws and that kind of thing and how you can and can't do certain things, especially like in preschools. Um, and now, I mean, it just really, it really grew my passion for farm to school, definitely. I feel like uh, local foods are a huge part of nutrition education. Um, I think, I think of local food every time I'm teaching an education class. Like I always put in a plug for it. I'm like, Especially like now that it's warming up outside, it's easy to be like, have you been to the farmer's market? Or, you know, these are the products that are in season now, so why don't, these are the ways you can incorporate them into your diet, that kind of thing. I mean, but I do just think it's like just a huge piece. I mean, it's definitely like opened my eyes to like how far food travels, and I always try to buy local when I can. My name is Dana Zimmer and I am a kindergarten teacher at Swain West Elementary School in Swain County and I love educating kids in all areas. At Western I worked very closely with Patricia Bricker and I did several things such as farm visits. We visited a few farms. Um, I also helped very closely with Cullowee Valley Schools and setting up their garden. Um, they had never had anything before so clearing that out, um, being able to do that was great as well as I helped um, at that school again, Cullowee Valley, um, with cooking lessons inside um, I think it was a first grade classroom or kindergarten classroom um, as well as one time I observed in the cafeteria during a taste test. During the process of working at another school really helped me to see how the kids interact and how well they truly enjoy this program, being able to get hands on, um, friendly with all these things, being able to cook, seeing their faces light up as they're trying new things or retrying things that they've already had. Um, I'm not from around here, so I'm from the big city of Atlanta, so we really don't have many farms, so it was great to be able to see how we can support these local farmers and get to see what their everyday life is all about, as well as introduce the children to um, farmers, things that they could potentially go to with their parents, be able to visit and shop at the farmer's market. Um, being able to see other classrooms participate in this project really helped me have an interest in it. Um, coming here, none of the other teachers had ever done anything and it really kind of showed me that, hey, this is a great program that really kids need to be introduced to. Um, and I'm looking forward, hopefully, next year to get a few more teachers involved. We're hoping to grow a garden, which we don't have now. And seeing that at Cullowee Valley was great to have the kids growing and making sure things are watered, checking up on things, covering them if need be, and all of that really helped to, you know, show their independence and how interested they could be. And I hope that we can continue to do that here. Um, in my classroom, we have done several cooking lessons. Um, we've done things from sweet potato pie muffins. Um, we've done lettuce wraps. Um, today we did uh, strawberry smoothies. Um, we have not been able to go to any farms just due to our buses and transportation, but I've showed them several videos of local farmers in the area. Um, and hopefully, like I said, we will get to do a garden. My kids really are pushing for that and they want to try to do that. So we've talked to people around here and hopefully we can get that garden set up so that they can actually grow. Some of the foods that we can try in the classroom. Um, 
Um, I definitely think the best recipe that we have tried was um, the lettuce wraps. They enjoyed being able to, you know, put various vegetables, local vegetables, in their lettuce wrap, not only just using the lettuce. We put cucumbers and carrots and all of that that the students had never had before. Um, they went into it thinking it was going to be kind of just like a tortilla, plain tortilla, and they were loving it. And I offered them ranch dressing and they didn't even need it. So being able to just try those vegetables and enjoy them was great. Several of my students have come in saying, I've never had lettuce before, and I'm able to give them the opportunity to try something that maybe they wouldn't be able to try at home um, and with their families. I'm Trish Hipgrave. I am the director of the WIC office and program in Swain County. The WIC program is Women, Infant, and Children, a federal food subsidy um, program that's distributed in the state of North Carolina. And I'm over that program um, getting foods to children in our county and also pregnant moms um, and moms who have just had babies. So to be honest, I'm a big advocate for farmers markets and local foods, but I had no idea even when I graduated what kind of impact the program would have on me. I didn't know which direction I was gonna go with my career. So when I started at WIC here in Swain County, I realized that there was actually um, part of that program I could bring to our county in helping um, get local foods to our low income families by our local farmers market. So here in Swain County WIC, um, there is a WIC farmer's market program, but we were unable to incorporate that. We were a little late getting that um, with, through the state. So I did some research and I actually went to our county commissioners, which they um, are firm believers in fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, and they funded a program that we call the Produce Nutrition Voucher Program. And this is for our low income children specifically to get vouchers to take to the farmer's market, um, to take to a couple of roadside stands, pick out fresh fruits and vegetables, take it home, learn to cook with it, learn to taste it. And that's been a very successful program that we've implemented here. We continue with research and it shows that it has been able to increase um, the fresh fruits and vegetable um, intake of our low income families um, quite a bit. Um, it's, it's been great to be able to follow through with that and to keep the program going. It's been so successful with our children and I know that that's part of this program but we've actually incorporated into um, a CAP program which is um, people who need a little bit of help who may need to go into nursing homes but can't afford it. Um, and that program has been added this year. So I think just being able to get fresh fruits and vegetables locally into these low income families has been a huge success. When we did these taste testings, let's say um, the first one that I, I remember very clearly was cabbage. We were in the fall and we decided to do just raw chopped up cabbage. And I thought there is no way these kids are going to eat this cabbage. A lot of them didn't know where it came from, what it was. And it surprised me that they actually tasted it and loved it and actually gave us um, examples of what they thought it was. We got um, comments like, oh, it kind of tastes like garlic or spring onion even from these elementary school kids. So what I took away from it was more that aspect of it, not so much the local foods itself. So uh, working with low income families, they tend to kind of glaze over when you start talking about the nutrition value in food. But when you talk about their food coming from a local farmer that they may know, especially in a small community like Swain County, they tend to light up a little bit more and tend to be more interested. Um, talking about more of where their food comes from and the community aspect of it, to me, brings the community even closer together. They're more apt to come down here and meet their neighbor and go, oh, you're growing this this year, and they're actually getting more education, in my mind, than they are when you start talking about the nutritional value of food. And that, to me, is why the Produce Nutrition Voucher is so um, successful, is because they're not, going to school per se, um, our low income families, they're actually looking at the colors and, the, and where it's grown. Um, and this I think is more an, of an educational value to our communities in small towns. Mm -hmm.